Hello. The recipe we're going to be doing today is so, so easy and simple that I was actually debating if it needs a whole video around it or not. It does. This one tiny little trick can take any salad, any soup, any... Any dish that needs like that extra little hint of crunch or... You know when you eat something and you're like, it's good, but it's missing something. This is what it's missing. Um, and, for, and for those of you that don't eat bacon or pork or like myself, this is a perfect little tip and trick how to get your bacon goodness on your taste buds without actually having to eat pork. So let's get into this. So you want to start off by getting yourself a tin or two of tuna. You could make a little bit of a bulk out of this, but I'm not sure how long it will last in the fridge. We're taking all the moisture out, so it should extend the shelf life. However, I ain't taking no responsibility. Get your cans open and chuck them into a pan with a slight bit of oil in. If your tuna is in sunflower oil or olive oil or any sort of oil, then you don't have to put the oil in the pan. But if your tuna is in spring water or brine like mine is, then oil is needed. Okay, so now you wanna fry it off and fry it and fry it and fry And then when you think you fried it too much, leave it on for another five minutes. It should look something like this. Nice and crispy, nice and B-E-A, beautiful. Now here's where the magic happens. What you wanna do is chuck a little bit of soy sauce into the pan. If you don't have this, then mix some Marmite with a tiny bit of water and add that. Next, you wanna hit it with some garlic granules, some paprika, and some black pepper. And to finish, some barbecue sauce. Now only a little bit, we're just adding this for the smoky flavor. If you have liquid smoke, in your cupboard at home, by all means use that. I don't, I think most people watching may not have it, so barbecue sauce is the best substitute. And voila! <laughs> and voila! <laughs> and voila, we back. Uh, easy recipe, man, that, that is literally it. Take you about five minutes, stick that in the fridge. If you've got a dinner party or you've got people coming over, make it in advance and I swear to you, it will take your recipes to the next level. -la. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like always, blah, 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 blah. If you do decide to make this, um, please let me know. Please send me a picture over because, man, I love seeing people's attempts of food. I love it. So yeah, with that said, my socials will be down below or in the next... Nah, 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 they'll be down below. Actually, they'll be in the next thing as well. My so You'll see my socials. If you want my socials, look for them. But yeah, quick recipes. Peace out.